So I just finished my FIB interactive e-learning course. I've been working on that for a month. As a uh, kind of a reward to myself, I thought, why not redo this place? I am not exactly the neatest person out there. My goal is to make an efficient, uh, inspirational workspace, not so cluttered. So this will be the start. My wife thinks I'm not very handy. She may be right, but we're gonna see. is cleaned out. I'm a little sore, but not bad. My scapula hurts. Like, what's this muscle back here? Look at how much equipment that is. This is a little ridiculous. It's as high as I am. laid out and I wasn't sure what it was going to look like to have three monitors that are 32 inches horizontally. So that's like 32, 64, 96 inches of monitor. What the hell am I going to do with all that? I was worried like because obviously I'm blind I can't see the edge of the monitor which would be pretty stupid. So that's 44 inches, so three and a half feet. I think I can handle that, that's all right. So I need a desk that, okay, so obviously it's not gonna be 96 inches because I have them angled in. So I need a desk, 87 inches, so just over seven feet of desk. I don't know if they make that. We might have a problem. I might have to build something. So I just left Lumber Liquidators and I got all my hardwood floor. I did ask him about the formaldehyde levels and the products from China and he said these are not, nothing to do with that. Normally I would hire someone to do this. I'm not what you call handy. I'm not useless but I'm not very good with it. Um, I can figure it out. My wife thinks I'm not very handy as well, so I think I'm gonna do this myself just to prove a point. So I'm now going to Ikea, and I'm going to try to fit the desk that I'm looking at, which is gonna be a custom-built thing in here, which that might be a bad idea as well. So electricity, but everybody's singing in harmony. Sound me up, sound me down, I'll be so in 800 feet, arrive at 1000 Ikea Drive on the left. Elliot's the man. Elliot's. <laughs> All right. All right. So you're going to get the capital legs. Yep. Put the holes, line the brackets up, put the holes in. After you're going to use your drills, screw the holes all the way through. Make sure it go through the bottom. Okay. Get some wood screws. Get your jarpin uh, solid wood. Yep. That's going to go below. Clamp it here. It's going to go on the bottom because you want your screws to show on the bottom of this. Now, when you clamp it and put it there solid, you're going to get your wood screws to go all the way through and make sure it connects to the jarpin. Got it. On all the, all the brackets with the legs. Okay. So when you got it set up, the whole thing, all you're going to do is turn it over. And the legs will be connected. And that's how you got your solid piece. That's your solid piece, right? There you go. Okay. Elliot, Elliot's the man. <laughs> Done. It's star time. I just helped three older ladies load two of these Alex drawers into their car. I think I have probably a thousand pounds of stuff here in the Jeep. 
Mission accomplished. Oh shit, how do I close that door? <laughs> That'll be the workout for the day. That desk right there is for trading. That computer is only for markets. This one, I do all my business, social media, non-trading relating stuff, but all related to the business. We're gonna eliminate that, do it all on Mac via Parallels. This computer, I do my video editing on Mac. My MacBook Pro is somewhere. I just got this iMac and this thing is great, but I have a new Mac Pro, which is somewhere around here. Oh, in that box is the new Mac Pro. Oh, and by the way, B&H, if you guys have never been to B&H in New York City, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. If you're into electronics or computers or anything, go to this store. It's at 429th Avenue, New York City. It's unbelievable. Run on Windows or Mac. Add to the mess. Ooh, feels like I'm pulling out a little kegerator. Spiffy. Let me just tell you, these are not my good jeans. I've been a Windows guy, and as a trader, you're kind of just stuck to being a Windows guy, but I gotta tell you, I just enjoy being on a Apple so much more. It's so much easier to use. It's so much, it's just, you just get more done, in my opinion, on an Apple. I just do better work on an Apple. This is pretty big to go from, from being a trader on Windows to Mac. I never thought I'd see the day. It may not work. We'll see. Oh, look at this thing. Hmm. Would you believe that's a computer? It looks like a little nuclear bomb. How do I lay this stuff down? Bella Wood Premium Underlayment. YouTube. It's Day two, decent progress. I still have all of my fingers. The flooring, it's a little tricky to get to go down and it's tough if like you don't have it perfect to start. I kind of see this problem compounding. It's like if you sort of miss something in the beginning of a trade, it's gonna impact the rest of the trade and the duration of the trade. So we'll see, I'll keep it posted, but so far, so good. So here's how it looks. Eh. See, you can kind of see over there. That's not good. So I'm, I'm calling in a professional for a little bit of help. This, if you've never tried it before, it's a lot harder than it looks. It was really good over here and good here. Not very good there. And I'm even embarrassed to show you that. The professionals are here to clean up the disaster. I tried. This is awesome. Like, my gaps were like that far apart. So much better. <sighs> the one problem that I ran into, and I thought about it, but I didn't know how bad it was gonna be, was the acoustics. Echo! Ah. Uh, we gotta think about that, because I wanna make, obviously, this a little bit more of a sleek recording area for the videos. Now we go over to the desk building, and that's my project for today, to build a custom desk that is perfect for three 34-inch curved monitors from Dell. 
Also, I really need really effectively cable manage. So hide the cables, make sure there's none of those crazy cobweb uh, cables hanging down because that doesn't look good. So that's my mission today.